अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी एटले संधान हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वॉम वेलकम टू दिस प्रोग्राम दिस प्रोग्राम विल इन दिस प्रोग्राम वे विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच इज कॉल्ड ग्रुप डिस्कशन फ्रेंड्स आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू आर नोवेड इज बेजी विद द एग्जामिनेशन एंड मेनी ऑफ यू आर ऑल्सो एंजॉइंग द डे सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ डेज इन योर कॉलेज बट इन दिस सीनेरियो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लुक एट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ आवर सिलेबस which is group discussion i am here to talk about various aspects various features uh, some specialities of this program of this uh, topic called group discussion and friends if the time permits we would also have a, a small gap of period for interactions and i would be certainly very happy to help if i could help you in terms of your queries and questions so friends uh, let us go to the topic group discussion this pro, uh, topic has been prescribed at various levels of some of the universities in the college uh, and colleges and there are also some deemed universities which go for this type of event which is called group discussion friends if you go to the slide and we can concentrate on the topic first question always comes to our mind is what is group discussion in a way all of us are very much engaged in discussion every now and then be it our class be it our canteen be it our sports uh, event we always engage ourselves in some sort of discussion whether it is related to some uh, interesting topic or no that is another question but it is our habit and it is our phenomenon to talk about something and especially it happens when we are in a group but the topic group discussion is not meant for that type of discussion which are not in um, uh, organized in nature so when we think of uh, group discussion friends let us remember that number 1 it is interactive number 2 it is oral communication and what is more important is that a specific topic is always given for discussion it is not that something occurred in my mind and i start talking about that my friend would talk i uh, will not speak anything on the topic i am talking about he would start all together a different topic this is not called a group discussion and another important point is there is always a stipulated time it is not a kind of never ending uh, event a specific period is always given so all of the participants will have to look at this particular features of a uh, group discussion number 1 it is an organized activity so there is specific topic there is specific uh, time there is also specific area where they are supposed to sit and talk together it is not a one sided event that only one speaker would speak or go on speaking and not allowing any other to participate it is interactive it is oral communication it means no one is expected to remain a silent uh, so silent listener patient listener is not expected to be a part of group discussion so the all the members of the group are expected to speak something or other some point or other they may share they may raise questions they may contribute in one way or the other in group discussion but it is not obligatory or compulsory but it is expected that all the participants should participate in the discussion and they should share something they should contribute something they should add something to the point and to the topic which is given to uh, uh, for the discussion so group discussion in a way involves the members which belong to a same kind of category it is not that there can be variety of people who can come together but because it is an organized event so friends the first thing that they have a same topic for discussion they generally come from the same category of their fields and they are very much familiar with the event so that is very important uh, as against this you do not find the discussion which takes place maybe 
in your canteen maybe when you are traveling maybe when you are uh, having a free time and you start talking about any damn point which may move from one topic to other that is certainly a discussion but certainly not group discussion so friends for example during cricket matches or during election scenario or maybe during some specific event just uh, the our countries has been witnessing the events in delhi so this type of events attract discussion but certainly they are not group discussion because the discussion which take place is never a kind of organized event so friends this is the basic difference between an ordinary discussion and the group discussion friends let us go to the next slide which tells you uh, distinguishes the two different type of di group discussions one is informal and the other is formal friends i was just talking about the discussion which takes place during a cricket match for example or during a specific event so that type of things occur all of a sudden so there is no pre decided topic if i start for example on cricket the other may come and he may talk about the developments in new delhi someone else would come and would start about talking about vibrant gujarat so all these three topics <coughs> have no interconnection but the topics are there and discussion go on it may end up at any given moment the topics are not pre decided the participants also are not aware that this would be the topic and next time next moment there would be another topic so this type of things which erupt all of a sudden which go on all of a sudden and which may end up at any given moment so this type of uh, discussions are called informal discussions generally in canteen for example i repeat or maybe when you are traveling when you are in a group and there is no other other topic for discussion and you start all of a sudden there may be arguments and counter arguments there may be some sort of indecency there may be any hot discussion this occur only during the informal group discussion and friends if you can go to the slide <coughs> you can be very much clear regarding what an informal group discussion is so let us think of that an informal group discussion is altogether an unplanned event as i told you earlier that if there are friends and they are uh, having a cup of tea uh, this fine morning and they may start anything about for example there is a two day specific event is there in our state which is the swearing in of the cm new cm rather and one may talk about how the things are going on one may go against that no this is not fair still another one may uh, remain neutral so this type of things it is unplanned you do not know what topic would come now what topic would be next and the discussion go on in another important aspect of informal group discussion is it may start at any place unlike formal discussion which has got a specific place and all the participants are expected to sit in a particular fashion here there is no such type of things it may take place at any corner of the street in the classroom out of the classroom in the terrace in the market place in the public bus public place or public event it may start at any given place it also starts at any time be it night be it morning be it noon be it during recess irrespective of time frame it may start at any given moment and another in interesting aspect of this type of informal discussion is there are no specified topics or topic in um, group discussion when we think of group discussion it is always formal group discussion where a specific topic is given and all the participants are expected to speak on that particular topic only they can share the related information they may raise questions on the arguments made by other participants but here there is not a single specific topic it may start for example uh, on a topic on sachin tendulkar but next moment it will be on film again in the next moment you will find it is on education and again it will be on utrayan next moment you will find all together different topic so there is no single specific topic instead there are number of topics and the topics jump from one topic to other and there is no certainty where it would start where it would get turned or where when it will end 
सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ टॉपिक्स इट इज नेवर प्री डिसाइडेड एनी वी मार्कर्स टू माई माइंड एंड आई मे स्टार्ट ऑन दैट टॉप स्पीकिंग अबाउट दैट टॉपिक सो दैट वे देर आर नो प्लान थिंग्स इन जनरल एंड नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज इट मे इप ऑल ऑफ ए सडन एट एनी गैदरिंग्स और इवेंट्स ड्यूरिंग मैरिज सेरेमनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल और ड्यूरिंग रिसेप्शन और ड्यूरिंग पब्लिक इवेंट्स एट द बस स्टेशन एट द रेलवे स्टेशन इन द रेलवे कोच इट सेल्फ यू फाइंड डिस्कशन डिस्कशंस आर गोइंग ऑन ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ डिस्कशंस आर ऑलवेज टेक प्लेस इन ए ग्रुप सो दे आर कॉल्ड ग्रुप डिस्कशन बट दे आर इनफॉर्मल इन नेचर बिकॉज दे आर नॉट वेल ऑर्गेनाइज नो फॉर्मेलिटीज आर मेनटेन नो डिसंसिज एंड डिसिप्लिन आर मेनटेन एनी वन कैन स्टॉप अंदर पर्सन फ्रॉम स्पीकिंग एनी वन कैन सेंड अप एंड लीव द डिस्कशन एनी वन कैन एंटर द area of group discussion so this type of things where there are no certain specified norms this type of group discussions are known as informal uh, group discussion uh, gd is the short form of group discussions friends as you know and we had seen this in the earlier slide also in the next slide let us talk about something more about informal discussion it is an unorganized in nature so it is generally a free or open to all kind of event so i told you a small kid may also enter and he may shout it is also part of that discussion any senior fellow would come and interrupt it is also a part of that informal group discussion if a knowledgeable person is also there he may also share if the person who has no connection with the topic he may also interrupt he may also share he may also raise questions he may also say something he would also have a kind of say so there is never certain entry or exit point anyone can come anyone can share anyone can interrupt anyone can enter and ask questions or raise issues which are or are not related to the topic given and in absence of predefined topic it moves from one topic to any other topic at any stage friends when we think of group discussion it is always kind of uh, organized activity but when the, it is not organized it is called informal so here there is no rule as such regarding topic regarding time regarding place regarding norms anything can occur any sort of discussion without a planned man planned uh, uh, activity it is called informal discussions so friend when we think of group discussion we must keep away ourselves from this type of informal group discussion because it may start at any given moment it may not have any logical conclusions and we we can see in the next slide the informal group discussion may conclude at all of a sudden without any logical conclusions so when we discuss something we must arrive at some conclusions we must arrive at some specific results there may be some logical uh 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 conclusions when we think uh, talk about any topic but in informal group discussion there is never almost never logical conclusions and it may remain inconclusive despite hot interactions for hours together so there are arguments counter arguments again arguments counter arguments and then again there is never a single logical conclusion so this is the thing which we often witness at public places or when there are some gatherings variety of people come together they start thinking they start talking and we call it informal group discussion again very interesting aspect of informal discussion is it is comprised of a heterogeneous group means i had told you earlier that there are number of people who come from different kind of fields one may be doctor other may be a professor still one member may be an illiterate fellow one may be farmer and they all have different areas of their activities they come together for example in a public place may be in a public function may be a marriage reception may be they are traveling so they come together from the various fields generally they are unknown to all they are not familiar with the activity of others but still they come and they join the discussion they share they raise questions they raise doubts but they do not belong to the same category they same field of activity and no even very often there is no same age group so it is a called the heterogeneous group 
variety of people are there and they discuss there are people who know it deeply there are some people who do not know the topic all together but still they share something they feel it necessary that they should contribute something and it becomes a kind of prestige issue for them so when there are questions they may try to prove them their argument as true even though people know that the argument is all together wrong so this type of things take place in an informal group discussion and though it may be indicative of the current trends it enjoy little significance and impact for example during election scenario election days we often uh, listen to the people some would argue for a part particular party or a leader others make quite oppose the same thing so there are arguments and counter arguments during election scenario what happens is there is seldom any significance if i say x party is more powerful than b then the other would say no it is altogether wrong b is more powerful than a party or a leader but when the result comes we find that neither a or b but c is winning so what happens is there is little impact on what is being discussed during the informal group discussion but there is generally indicative of the current trends for example nowadays we may listen to the people who may be talking about the developments in, in new delhi maybe in gandhinagar maybe uh, they may be talking about vibrant gujarat also the point here is generally the informal group discussions take place on the current issues but they are just indicative that yes these are the topics or hot topics but the conclusions may not be logical the conclusions may have little impact they may might be altogether wrong also but still the area of the discussion it shows that these are the things which are in the air so friends it is the only important aspect that uh, of this informal group discussion that they just are indicative of the current trends current hot issues rather